Hello, welcome to AI Factory. A recently released open source AI model called DeepSeek has quickly become a sensation online. It's considered a powerful rival to OpenAI, being completely free, open source, and commercially usable with its weights available. In my previous video, DeepSeek, our one setup guide, Get Started with Free Local AI, I demonstrated how to download and set up local deployment. If you're interested in learning DeepSeek, our one download and set up local deployment, please check out my channel. Today, I'll be teaching you how to use, set up, and locally install the latest release from the DeepSeek team, Janus Pro 7B. In this way, you can easily use a free AI at home that rivals or even surpasses the capabilities of OpenAI, ChatGPT, DALL-E, and Stable Diffusion. Make sure to watch until the end. You can find the links I used in this video in the description area below. In a recent technical report, the company claimed that Janus Pro 7B, the most powerful version in the series, a new unified multimodal understanding and generation model, outperformed OpenAI's DALL-E 3 and Stability AI Stable Diffusion on key benchmarks. Janus Pro 7B can both analyze and generate high-quality images, combining these capabilities into one impressive package. Okay, let's test its features to see what surprises it holds. Click Chat with Janus Pro 7B on the page and go to its interface. First, Let's challenge its image comprehension ability. I'll upload an image and ask, can you describe the content of this picture? Keeping the default parameters, I clicked the check button. The image depicts a traditional Chinese dragon dance performance and details. The result was returned quickly and the response was satisfactory. Next, I tested its reading and writing capabilities by uploading an image with text, specifically a French article. I asked Janus Pro 7B to extract all the text and translate it into English. The translation was returned in a short time, but the results were not as accurate. Moving on to its object recognition skills, I uploaded an image of an underwater scene and asked it to identify the animals and name them. The results were very accurate and impressive. The DeepSeek team provides several examples of multimodal understanding. Trying the first example, the model was explained in great detail, making it easy to understand. Next, I tested it with a math problem. To verify its accuracy, I also asked ChatGPT the same question, and their answers were remarkably consistent. For me, the most exciting feature to test was the text-to-image generation. Using the example prompt provided, Master Shurfu Raccoon wearing drip attire as a street gangster, It generated five images, and the results were quite impressive. Let's try the face of a beautiful girl. After a short wait, the images are complete. Wow! Beautiful images! The skin texture and facial expressions of the characters are incredibly lifelike, almost as if they were photos. Each prompt generates a total of five images for us to choose from. Take a look at this result. With just simple prompts, it can achieve such realistic effects. Imagine if we added complexity and details to the prompts, the resulting images would be even more refined. Overall, Janus Pro 7B excels in object recognition, though its text recognition abilities are slightly weaker. It supports both image recognition and image generation with outstanding performance. You can easily install and use it on a regular computer. Let's proceed with the local deployment. First, set up DeepSeek Janus Pro 7B locally on Windows. Prerequisites. You need Python and Git installed on your machine. You can install both from the Windows Store. After installing Python and Git, open the Windows search bar, type CMD, 
and launch command prompt. Create a folder named DeepSeek Janus. I'm creating it under the C root, but you can create it wherever you prefer. Use the following command. Navigate into the newly created folder by using the command. Download the source code of DeepSeek Janus 7B from GitHub using the following command. Navigate into the Janus folder, which contains the source code for Janus 7B. Using this command, install the necessary dependencies and packages with the following command. This process will take a while to download and install all the required packages for running Janus. The progress of installing required packages. The installation of required packages is complete. Install the Gradio library to support the web GUI interface with the following command. This step is done. Next, to start DeepSeek Janus Pro 7B, run the following command. In progress, it takes some time to install the necessary libraries and module files. When you see the message, running on local URL, HTTP 127.0.0.1.7860. It means Janus Pro 7B is up and running. Copy the highlighted text, open a web browser like Chrome, and paste it into the address bar. You will see a web page similar to the one shown. The upper part is for image to text, while the bottom part is for text to image. Let's give it a try. First, I uploaded an image with text and asked it to identify what was written in the image. After waiting for a while, it provided a very accurate answer. The image contains the following text. In the simplicity of mindfulness lies the richness of existence. This demonstrates its incredible capability to recognize fonts and languages. Next, when testing the text-to-image feature, I chose their slightly more complex fourth prompt, which described a cute fox. Took a while to generate five images, and the results were quite impressive with detailed visuals, vibrant colors, realistic expressions, and backgrounds. If your computer has a fast CPU and a powerful graphics card, you can deploy it locally without limitations and for free, which is pretty cool. It's definitely a tool worth trying. If your computer has a decent setup, I recommend giving it a try. However, if your computer hardware is lacking or your graphics card is not supported, you can use the free online platform. Just keep in mind that when there are many users online, it might face significant limitations. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for my next tutorial. Thank you for watching.